All right, good morning, everyone. This is Roman with Hydra Painting, and uh, just wanted to do a little video. Uh, just want to break down my list for LVO, um, the Las Vegas Open. I'm going and playing, but I'm just playing in friendlies, so nothing too crazy. Uh, I'm not really, f I don't want to say I'm not familiar with the game, uh, but there's like, you know, tiny little things here and there that separates the super awesome pro players to just more of the casually competitive kind of players. Um, I would probably say that I'm casually competitive, more casual, I guess. So, um, I just mostly play garage hammer, uh, in my garage, which is where I'm at. So just wanted to, uh, play in the friendlies, um, category over at LVO. So a bunch of people just coming up with fun little rando lists. Um, hopefully nothing too crazy. Hopefully my list isn't too crazy. Um, so I just wanted to break it down real quick. It's two patrols, all Death Skulls, because I love Death Skulls. I love the blue. And uh, it's kind of a tale of two war bosses um, kind of story that I'm going with here. So one patrol is B Snagas with two units of 10 B Snaga boys as my troops. I have a blue and a red squad. And mirroring that are two units of uh, squig hog boys pink and uh or red and pink along with two um smash and knobs or whatever they're called the ones right here there's my converted one and then i have two rigs i have a kill rig this is the red one and then i have a blue rig so the red boys go in the red rig blue and blue that's how it kind of works and i have a Beast boss leading this um, detachment here. Uh, not my warlord, um, but I did give him a warlord trait and a relic. I gave him the uh, the beast hide mantle and his warlord or his uh, warlord trait is the one that lets him re rolls a bunch of attacks and stuff. So that's it for my beast boys. Now I have my um, death skulls over here. So this is a um, death skulls patrol. The Warlord himself, this is my war boss in Mega Armor. Sorry, kind of using a gimbal here. But he has the crushing armor, and his Warlord trait is Art as Nail, so he's hard to take down. I uh, just wanted to be a little fun with him. And accompanying him are two units of Mega Knobs, uh, all the same three uh, Power Claws custom shooters, and the Knob has two Kill Saws. And then they're both in two bone breakers right here. So kill cannon, big shooter, and you know, the death roller and the bone breakers. Right there's a big mech with a custom force field to kind of fix them up and protect them a bit. Uh, this one here with the horns, this is the uh, ride for my war boss in mega armor. So he rides in this one, and the one with the horns has a five up invulnerable save. That's the fortress. Um, so just rolling in there, all these guys here. For another elite unit, this is a unit of commandos, just keeping it simple, five commandos with a knob with power claw. So after that, it's a unit of boys, just 10 boys, uh, two shooters, the rest have slugga choppa. Um, this is the new kit from uh, Games Workshop that was released like a couple weeks ago. Um, the new boys kit. I really like it. I dig it. I don't understand the hate for them. I guess the mono loadouts kind of make people mad, but uh, if you're an orc player, you can work around it. So I think they're awesome sculpts. I really like it. I really dig this knob. This knob is probably one of my favorite orc models. So yeah, that's basically the list. I think it's 2000 on the nose. Oh, each um, unit of hogs has a bomb squig, little little bomby there. So. Yeah, um, nothing too crazy. Um, I guess the only crazy thing about this list is that there are four. Uh, uh, three up armor, T8, 16 wound models, the two rigs, and the wagon. Um, the kill rig, which is this guy here, he'll be running Frazzle and Spirit of Gork. That's his powers. So at least I have something in the psychic phase, but that's about it for my uh, 2000 point uh friendlies list i played this once or uh, played this twice with a friend and it seemed to do all right um played against 
the new Gene Steeler Colts, and uh, they got me pretty good. At, and then I played against Crusher Stampede, but more of the friendly Crusher Stampede, and I did pretty well with that. So I'm super excited just to have a couple beers, uh, hang out with uh, cool dudes, meet new people, um, which is always uh, the best thing about LVO. I miss LVO. I went the last two times, and I had a riot. Um, looking forward to it. LVO is about probably five hours from my neck of the woods so i'll be driving out in the afternoon with all my stuff packed and uh yeah gonna hopefully have some film for you guys uh maybe at lvo or just like post lvo i'll have some stuff uh definitely want to bring that content to the channel i think it would be super duper cool so let me know what you think of the list is it too crazy um you know, is it not super... I mean, I, I don't think it's the most competitive list, but it's not one to, like, slouch over. Um, it's fluffy for me because this is, like, two different types of detachments with, like, different goals or different... Um, not goals. They all want to kill stuff. But they're two different detachments. Uh, you have basically old school versus new school kind of vibe I'm going with, with the mirroring, with the two wagons, two rigs... The two, um, you know, squig hog riders and the two mega knobs. You know, everything wants to be mobilized, wants to get in the fight. These war bosses, they just want to get in there and show off who has the best crew to wreck stuff. So that's what Death Skulls is all about, is wrecking stuff. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you like it. Like and subscribe. That really helps out the channel. And uh, I'll have more stuff posted. I'm going to pack up and get ready to drive to Vegas. So, have a good one.